hey guys welcome back to the channel um so as you saw in part one of this video i finished three of the eight no, seven seven drawers that i was working on um so i did the utensil drawer the mat drawer and the knife drawer um so you saw that in part one which i will link in the i card above and um, of course went down the rabbit's hole so I kept going and today I am working on the um, what I call the miscellaneous utensils and I'm also going to work on the one that has the items that go with our bar stuff so when we're entertaining we have like shot glasses and things like that and then you'll also see me work on two other drawers one that has um, more miscellaneous stuff so one of them basically keeps like the you'll see it here in a minute um and it'll make more sense one of them has more of like the grilling items and baking items that and that sort of stuff those utensils and the other one are all those miscellaneous items like your kitchen shears and your knife sharpeners and that sort of thing so there's a drawer for that and then the other one i am turning into the drawer that holds all of the um vacuum seal um the vacuum sealer like extra accessory pieces so because it's down on that side of the kitchen right beneath it so i thought that was a perfect spot for it so i'm going to stop lapping and jump right in and then pretty much show you what my thought process is for each drawer okay guys so like i said um i'm gonna be working in these drawers today this one um is next to let's kind of cut a corner to my bar area um so it just kind of holds you know bar stuff like shot glasses and um the wine corkscrew and you know shakers and all that stuff um so i now that i've taken a lot out because i think you guys saw that in one or two videos ago um I have a lot more space in the drawer now, so it's kind of underutilized. So I may be able to move some stuff around. And then this drawer over here is kind of like an occasions <laughs> drawer. It's, it's like the uh, junk drawer of utensils um, because it kind of holds all of the random stuff. So it's not like a fork or a knife or a spoon but it's an extra like grilling um spatula or the reusable drinking straws um for the um drinks and this probably should be in this drawer um over here because it goes with like the drink the alcoholic beverage items and stuff like that and then you know just random miscellaneous stuff so i call it like the junk drawer of utensils um, so I'm going to try to, you know, kind of pare that down and kind of just clean it up and um, see how I can utilize these two drawers. I do have another drawer over on the other side um, that holds items like the um, handheld grater and um, the potato peelers and stuff like that. So... I'm going to see what needs to move out of here into that drawer and then um, what over there can move over here so it's more uniform and cohesive. So when we're looking for, you know, like the random, I don't know, the spatula <laughs> when we're grilling, then we know exactly where to come to. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and... I don't know how much of this I want to talk through, but I may just go ahead and, and speed through and show you the end result. Um, if there's anything that pops out, then I'll come on and, um, you know, we'll chat about it. But for the most part, I will be moving between these two drawers and then one. There's actually two more on the other side of the kitchen. Um, and that should be the end of the um reorganization of the drawers so yeah stick around all right so just like in the last video i think i'm going to clear everything out uh, except this time i'm going to do it all at once 
um, I guess kind of like a KonMari style, um, very loose. <laughs> so I'm just going to grab everything out and clean all of the drawers down at once. And then I can kind of see, since there's a, a mismatch of things going on, um, and I'm going to have to pull from one drawer to the next to make it all make sense, then I'm just going to pull everything out at one time, clean, and then start to put things back in. So I think I'm going to put this in here to kind of corral some of the smaller items. Um, like for instance, the um, reusable drink straws and all of this little compartments. In the last video, I had a bunch of um, um, chopsticks that I know what to do with. So I think they'll go in here. Um, so I'll pretty much just put whatever is um, like a moment miscellaneous um, item that we still use um, for different eating events and things like that and I think it'll all work in here just fine. utensils that I will actually be able to change out some of the um, older ones that I have so these are going to be great and they're silicone so yay to silicone and saving my pots especially when hubby's cooking <laughs> so um, yeah I actually cleared up the drawer pretty nicely it's actually really empty now um, the only thing I'm going to put in here is the um, these spatulas um, because my son bakes and the baking items like the um, measuring cups and things like that are actually below in this cabinet um, you guys might remember that from the cabinet clean out uh, video that I did so these utensils I'll be able to move over and then um, just random little items like that can stay in there and then I think now I can move over to the um, drink drawer <laughs> and see what we can do in there. So I have um, like these, but I don't know. I think I may try to keep it uniform since I've been using um, these types of um containers in the drawers I may just take this stuff out of here and see what I can downsize and what we actually don't use like as far as the um shot glasses like I really can get rid of a bunch of them people bring them back we go on trips we get them um in years past but I'm really being more intentional about purchases and stuff when we go out of town especially for souvenirs because Honestly, guys, you don't use them afterwards. It's only so much entertaining you can do. I mean, we're not drinking every day. Let's be real. Um, I have tons of them. <laughs> it's like every time I'm on my dad go on a trip, they bring us back. Because I was collecting them at one point in time. And like certain ones, um, they do mean a little bit more to us than others like this. We are big Dolphins fans, so these will, this one will stay, and I can put that up with my glasses. Um, see, Hubby has his special glasses and stuff, so stuff like that can stay, but as far as like, I mean, just the, yeah, I went to Belize type of thing. Okay, yeah, great. We have the memories, we have the pictures, that sort of thing, so I can you know really cut down because I'm just getting tired of the clutter guys it's like I just I don't want to deal with it anymore I really really just don't I'm so over it so in order to stay over it I need to minimize and just get rid of the things that we don't use we don't need and um, that way I can find more joy in the things that I am 
actually using, you know, and I can find them more easily too. So I'm going to use this guy in here, and I think that can corral smaller stuff like these if I need to. Um, they may can just put on straight onto the um, shelf, but we'll see. We'll start somewhere and see where we get. So I pulled these over here um, since I found the utensils in the other drawer. I'm going to kind of swap out some that are a little bit more grungy or that have done their time. Like for instance, um, this one is great and all, but um, I think we're it's done its due diligence. So we have a couple of good ones, nice silicone ones that'll be nice to use. And then I have the, the metal ones that I use as well. Um, those I pull my wooden utensils over. Um, let's see. So I have a good ladle that I really like. And slatted spoons. Uh, I think I can get rid of this one. We never use this anymore. Um, gonna hang on to this one, babe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This will get some good use out of that. I think I'll get rid of this one, but keep the smaller one for the kids to kind of use. And then it's really great with a slatted spoon, good for like vegetables like green beans and corn. And I think it can just rest on the pot. I like that a lot. And this is a way better spatula and it's plastic. So I think I got this for like a dollar and some change um, in my uh, Thanksgiving day haul and um, a great plastic spoon so that they don't scratch up my pots so once I can get over to Ikea I want to swap this out for another one of these so that they can be uniform but for right now it works just fine for me um, I'm not Martha Stewart so it doesn't really matter <laughs> as long as it holds everything so I think this is a good amount paired down pretty well and we will use all of these um, utensils so I think that is that. Okay, so in this drawer, this is the one I told you I had that little, those little red baskets and stuff. So now this one's all freed up. We can see what we can do here, what we can pull out and reorganize. And then right next to it, we're gonna take out those um, decorative napkins, put them in the new butler's pantry that I'm working on. Um, the towels as well and then just have the food saver items in there and that should do and that should wrap it up and then I can show you guys what it all looks like so let's get started <music> items we don't even have anymore. This is a use. This doesn't even work. This thing is broken. So that's a bummer. So trash. Um, I don't need this anymore. Can donate that. Mm, I'm gonna keep both of the peelers. Sometimes my daughter and I work together. My husband just bought these. They're <laughs> really cute. They're um, to make like the 
eggs for your egg McMuffins or whatever. And um, they have these little things. You just can pick them up, put them in like that. He got them from Wish. He loves Wish. <laughs> and we use both of these. I got rid of the full-size grater, so this is my only grater. So that works. Knife sharpener. I got this from Holler a while ago, and it actually works really well. This just covers the blade, but the kids never put it back on, so I'm just going to toss it. Um, kitchen shears, I have one for meat and one for like veggies and fruit and cook food. And then, yeah, we have a gajillion of these people. <laughs> and we actually use, we utilize the majority of them. So I'm just going to get this drawer all cleaned out because it's pretty gross. And then my trivets. And then put everything back in. to make it a little bit more cohesive and then I think I'll be done and I'll show you guys what I accomplished today. Okay guys I'm going to show you what the drawers look like from today. So this is the food saver drawer. Anything that has to do with that will go in here and right across on the opposite side um, I have markers and things like that in my um, junk drawer over here. So um, that way I can label whatever I am working on. And then I kind of just switch the countertop around a little bit um, to put the air fryer over here and move this since it's a little bit more low profile. It'll um, sit under the window better and there's an outlet right behind this so that works perfectly. And then I put my bullet over there. Um, this is what this drawer looks like. I think that's a heck of a lot better it's going to work um, work out a little bit better for us kids will be able to put everything back um, neatly I took the little container out that it that wasn't there before because nothing really fit in that one it wasn't the right size so just lay them on the surface is a better idea this is the stuff that I managed to pull out um, a garlic press that was broken, an old spoon rest, some trash, and some plugs that um, we no longer have the items to. And then on over to the drink um, drawer. Uh, so everything that has to do with uh, adult beverages, um, coasters, the large um, ice cube maker, um, some drink cozies, all the little contraptions. I paired it down to just the two. Um, and then this is a really cute, memorable one. Um, shot glasses. And then um, these hold like the beer bottles into the margaritas, the drink straws, um, the strainer, and the... Um, bottle opener and then some mini cups so I think that looks a lot better <laughs> y'all know I'm over here laughing at my husband of course because he's over there watching a movie and it's like the noisiest thing ever but anyway um this is my uh utensil junk drawer <laughs> basically the catch-all so it has all the seasonal items down in here and um, like I said for our summer summer fun grilling stuff this thing I just threw on top it's actually a um, tortilla warmer so you can just put your tortillas in there and then you can put it in the microwave and then they don't get all hard and crusty on you um, our grilling um, utensils stuff for turkeys and such 
basting and then um, this is just the miscellaneous um, little container so it's got our taco holders there's a couple more we had tacos not long ago um, you know spatulas and crab doohickeys and the little um, really <laughs> and the little doohickeys to um, the chopstick trainers for the kids and all that jazz so I think that turned out really nicely it can be shut quite easily and um, this is what I managed to pull out and I did since I did that drawer I kind of spruced up this area a little bit and I was able to downsize so I got rid of um, one of the jiggers and um, this one went to a glass it came with it but it never worked well and the glass was just really pretty so I just held on to the glass um, called all of the um, shot glasses all the utensils and then these can go to different parts of the house so I have two great organizers and then a miscellaneous Ziploc bag and then these are like uh, booklets for um, the Instapod and drink recipes and stuff like that so those can all go and then the only other thing that was up here were the um, utensils to the Instapot, which I never took out. So I'll probably just put those away somewhere else. But yeah, that was everything in um, today's video. So now all of my drawers are done. So I'm really excited about that. This kitchen is coming together very nicely, guys. I'm very excited. I'm taking my time. I'm making good decisions. Um, keeping the things that are important to us that we love um, that we enjoy using and um, you know that sort of thing takes time it may not be as Pinterest ready and organized as some people would like but it works for us it works for my family um, and it it just has everything that we need in it um, so I'm really excited about the way it's shaping up like I said, I have other areas that I'm going to be working on. I'm going to give y'all a sneak peek of what's to come. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. So there's all of that. Y'all remember I worked on that area last time too. So, you know, now that cold and flu season has ended pretty much for us here. And um, we'll have a lot of stuff to take care of over in that area. Give that some love. But... I am really enjoying it thus far, guys. So jump in with me and get an area done. Like I said, 15, 20, 30 minutes, whatever you have to do, um, whatever you have available, and give your house a little bit of love. You will thank yourself for it later. So come on back and join us for another Tuesday tune-up, guys. And until next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye.